I'm here with Richard Martin. And Richard, can you tell us where you're from and uh, where you work? Well, I'm from Boston, Mass., but I work in Silicon Valley at Stanford University. And can you tell us a little bit about your work? Um, I do Homeric poetry, and I also work on old comedy, especially Aristophanes. So I'm trying to combine them in some ways, but at the moment I'm juggling three books, one on um, Aristophanes, two on Homer, and of course thinking of other things all the time. And can you tell us a little bit about your affiliation with the Center for Hellenic Studies? Right. I was never a junior fellow there, and I went there for the first time for a conference in the late 90s and was amazed at the operation. <laughs> um, I then became a senior fellow about 10 years ago, and I've been involved in a number of activities, uh, including uh, the work in Naplio. Um, and I'm constantly amazed by the outreach and the number of things that the center is involved in. And I think um, many people who will be watching this are familiar with your book, The Language of Heroes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that book and the influence it's had, or that you see that it's had on the field? Well, it, it does look like it prompted a lot of people to think again about Homeric speeches. I really got into it thinking about where is mythology coming from? Why do we have this word myth that means something like lie, but at the same time is obviously, you know, important stories. So I ended up looking at the etymology and the pragmatic use of mythos throughout Homer and, and came up with the idea. Um, I was also interested in studies in the ethnography of speaking. I tried to combine them. In terms of its impact, I think the interesting thing is that no one has now gone out and done the Odyssey, which I neglected to do, so I'm hoping somebody will still grab onto that. And talk about language and... Language and mythoi and whether it's different or not. Looking at the mission for the Center for Hellenic Studies, um, how do you see that mission fitting into the field of classics? Well, I think it's crucial. I think just to have public recognition of the existence of Greek literature and the Greek tradition, which is, a, you know, going back to the Bronze Age and still alive. If you ask a taxi driver in Athens today to tell you the word for last year, he, he's going to say Persi. But if you read Linear B from 1200, 1300 BC, that's exactly the same word. So it's a living tradition which has a kind of generational wisdom that I don't think we find elsewhere in the West. In terms of humanities as a whole, uh, of course, you know, the Western tradition of humanities grows out of Greece uh, via Rome through the Middle Ages, and so you can't even understand that tradition, I think, without grounding in Greek culture. Um, its mission, the center's mission, I think, to connect Greek culture with politics, with aesthetics, with uh, current events I is really indispensable. And I can't think of another institution that has taken on that kind of public face for the Hellenic tradition.